Hey guys, and very good day from Frankfurt Airport. Today I'll be flying all the way to Faro, Portugal with Tui Fly on board their Boeing 737-800 aircraft. Unfortunately, not the MAX 8, believe it or not, but my flight is leaving in 90 minutes, so I'm apparently well ahead of schedule at the airport. So finally, thank you guys for coming along for today's trip report and let's head right inside the terminal building. See you there. All TUI fly flights are leaving from Terminal 2 here in Frankfurt. If you're arriving at Terminal 1, you can either take the so-called Skyline train, which is right above me, or you simply take a shuttle bus, which I did today. And here we are. Welcome to the check-in hall. As you guys can see up there, my flight X32812 to Faro is leaving from gate Echo 26 and the gate is already open. Tui Fly is using the check-in counters 892 and 893 today. However, as you can see, it's pretty crowded, so I'm kind of lucky that I already checked in online beforehand, so I can directly proceed to the security control, which is fortunately located right next to the Tui Fly check-in and seems to be very empty today. Seems like the gate for my flight has not changed from E26 and the boarding process has also not started yet. So, let's take a quick tour through the terminal all the way to the gate. Terminal 2 actually also features some of these cool working desks uh, where you can also charge your mobile devices. Oh boy, look what I found here. A majestic Emirates Airbus A380. By the way, I have not been flying with Emirates yet and I'm really looking forward to do so in the near future. I finally made it to my gate E26 and the boarding process has already started as you can see, even though it is not monitored on the departure monitors, which is not good obviously. And honestly, I really don't like flying from terminal too here in Frankfurt because um, yeah it already happened quite some times to me that employees were shouting to the passengers and there are mostly no boarding calls at all and what I just said as well um, the boarding process is already started and it's not monitored anywhere um, so yeah and this is only happening here in Terminal 2 and it's not happening at all when you're flying from Terminal 1 where mostly Sky Team uh, sorry Star Alliance Airlines are leaving from. And down there you guys can already see today's Boeing 737-800 which will now take me to Faro and right next to it you can see a Saudi 787-9 I believe which is also pretty cool and I'm also really looking forward to try them out one day. Sobald die Anschnallzeichen aufleuchten, müssen Sie Ihren Sitzgurt schließen. Wir zeigen Sie Ihnen jetzt, wie Sie diesen schließen, festziehen und wieder öffnen können. Whenever the seatbelt sounds illuminated, the seatbelt sign must be securely fastened. Your seatbelt is fasten, adjust and unfasten like this.
The fastened seatbelt sign was switched off as we reached today's cruising altitude of 35,000 feet. So let's take a closer look on what today's seat has to offer. The legroom of my seat 25A is rather small. For your information, I am 185 cm tall. However, the seat pocket in front does offer some content, which we will be checking out later on. Unfortunately, as you can see here, the foldable table wasn't cleaned after the last flight, as some breadcrumbs are still sticking on it. This plane was flying to Fuerteventura beforehand, so I would have really appreciated a cleaning service between the flights. The most important feature of this seat, the seat belt, is just the standard grey one and the armrest next to me is nothing special as well. It just features some dysfunctional IFE buttons. The headrest of my seat is just some advertisement for a travel insurance, which I obviously don't like because I prefer if airlines print their logo or their branding on the headrest. Unfortunately, the seats do not offer a power outlet, but honestly I did not expect something else. However, the passenger service unit above me does feature some reading lights and fresh air nozzles. About 90 minutes into the flight, the in-flight service finally started and my pre-ordered meal approached me. The main consisted of teriyaki chicken, some white rice and vegetables. Furthermore, you can choose one hot drink and one soft drink, in my case a fruit tree and a Fanta, for just 9 euros and 90 cents. As expected, the meal comes with plastic cutlery and not metal cutlery. Tui Fly offers a nice variety of different meals that you can pre-order on tuifly.com before your flight, starting at 7 euros and 90 cents, I believe. And as I said before, a hot drink and a soft drink is always included, which is quite fair in my eyes. However, let's try out today's meal. As we are now about to start with our descent into Faro Airport, I would like to show you guys the content of the seat pocket in front. So firstly, we have a waist bag with a nice little Tui Fly branding, as well as the safety card of today's Boeing 737-800 aircraft, which also features some infant safety instructions on the bag, pretty cool. Finally, here is the Tui Fly Coffee and Board Shop magazine. Tui Fly offers a decent variety of sandwiches, snacks and drinks, but also many, many perfumes and other cosmetics. And most importantly, they also offer a model aircraft. Finally, 
my seatbelt is as always securely fastened. And we are about to touch down in Faro. Time to enjoy the very last view on today's Boeing 737-800 with a call sign or with the registration Delta dash Alpha Tango Juliet Yankee. Sorry, Yankee Juliet. I'm getting old. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Faro Airport. Down there my dad and my dog is already waiting for me. No servus! Ja, ich freue mich so. 